not a happy high. Carol's pregnant. Oh, I found it! <laughs> <laughs> well, what, 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 what? Yeah. <laughs> Do that for another two hours, you might be where I am right about now. <laughs> Kind of puts that whole pillow thing in perspective, huh, Mon? Well, now, how, how do you fit into this whole thing? Well, Carol says she and Susan want me to be involved, but if I'm not comfortable with it, I don't have to be involved. Basically, it's totally up to me. She is so great. I miss her. <laughs> What does she mean by involved? I mean, presumably, the biggest part of your job is done. <laughs> anyway, they want me to go down to this sonogram thing with them tomorrow. Wow. Well, so what are you going to do? I have no idea. No matter what I do, though, I'm still going to be a father. This is still ruined, right? <laughs> oh, Martha Ludwin's daughter is gonna call you. Hmm, what's that curry taste? Curry. Mmm. <laughs> I, I think they're great. I, I, I really do. I. Mm, you remember the Ludwins? Mm -hmm. The big one had a thing for you, didn't she? Mm. They all had a thing for him. Oh, Mom. I'm sorry, why is this girl going to call me? Oh, she just graduated, and she wants to be something in cooking or food or... I don't know. Anyway, I told her you have a restaurant. No, so... Mom, I don't have a restaurant. I work in a restaurant. Well, they don't have to know that. <laughs> Ross, could you come and help me with spaghetti, please? Yes. Oh, we're having spaghetti. That's easy. <laughs> I know this is going to sound unbelievably selfish on my part, but were you planning on bringing up the whole baby lesbian thing? Because I, I think it might take some of the heat off me. <laughs> what that Rachel did to her life, we ran into her parents at the club. They were not playing very well. Mm. I'm not going to tell you what they spent on that wedding, mm. but $40,000 is a lot of money. <laughs> She had the chance to leave a man at the altar. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. It's an expression. <laughs> no, it's not. Don't listen to your mother. You're independent and you always have been. Even when you were a kid and you were chubby and you had no friends, you were just fine. <laughs> and you would read alone in your room and your puzzles. <laughs> Look, there are people like Ross who need to shoot for the stars with his museum and his papers getting published. Other people are satisfied with staying where they are. I'm telling you, these are the people who never get cancer. <laughs> and I read about these women trying to have it all, and I thank God our little harmonica doesn't seem to have that problem. So, Ross, what's going on with you? Any stories, no news, no little anecdotes to share with the folks? Okay, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Look, I, uh, I realize you guys have been wondering what exactly happened between Carol and me, and so, well, here's the deal. Carol's a lesbian. <laughs> She's living with a woman named Susan. She's pregnant with my child. And she and Susan are going to raise the baby. And you knew about this? <laughs>